when you are living moving and having your being in Christ being set apart makes you a target because you're not moving and operating how the the world is moving and operating you're not moving and operating how this crooked generation is moving and operating being you're now tuned into gutter and saint <laughs> Consider the greatest spitting. I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm nothing like the conditions of how I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering. Listen, candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you willing to obey. I don't feel like I'm better than nobody. However, I do realize that I am set apart. We are living in times where people are without God. They walk in aimlessly without direction in the world. This is probably one of the most hopeless, faithless generations ever since mankind. But I have some good news for those of you who are struggling with your walk in Christ amongst this crazy generation. Remember, you are set apart. Listen, that awkward feeling you get when you're around certain people, that's your spirit reminding you that you don't belong. When you are around certain crowds and certain activities that don't sit right in your spirit, that is your spirit telling you that you are set apart. That loneliness that you feel when participating in certain activities that your friends are engaged with, that's your spirit telling you and reminding you that's not the lane that you've been set apart to ride in. And it's not because you're better than anybody, it's simply because because you are set apart. I know the flesh sometimes wants to engage in those certain activities. I know the flesh wants you to participate with those friends with when they out clubbing and, and twerking and all that stuff. I get it. But watch this. Watch this. The reason that feeling, that awkwardness feeling come up when you're around them certain people, that funny feeling that comes up that's in your spirit. Let me tell you why you get them awkward feelings, that funny feeling in your gut when those certain activities and those people around. It's because of this. When you go to the scriptures in Philippians chapter 2 verses 15 and 16, the scripture says that you may be blameless and innocent child of God without blemish and the midst of a crooked and twisted generation amongst whom you shine as lights in the world. Verse 16, holding fast to the word of life so that in the day of Christ that I may be proud that I did not run in vain or labor in vain. Listen, in the midst of this crooked generation, right, you ought to be blameless innocent child of the living God, uh, uh, shining as light amongst this crazy and crooked generation. The spirit of the living God is shining in you, around you, and through you so that you may be the radiance or who of the example he need you to be in him in this world. See, here's the thing. The world wants to destroy you. The world wants to suppress you and dim your light. That's why the Lord set you you apart so you can be the radiance of his glory. See, listen, you've been set apart to be the radiance of Christ, not in vain, but for his glory alone. See, you being set apart in Christ is not a burden. Remember, Christ said his yoke is easy and his burden is light. See, watch this. Sometimes the load may look heavy. But once you get to working and you get to lifting, you start to realize that that load wasn't as hard as it looked. It wasn't as hard to carry as it as it perceived. That's why we walk by faith and not by sight. It's important to know who we are in Christ. It's important for us to stay the course when everybody is go veering off the course because you've been set apart. Amen, somebody. I'm here to encourage you today with this. When you are living, 
moving and having your being in Christ, being set apart makes you a target because you're not moving and operating how the, the world is moving and operating. You're not moving and operating how this crooked generation is moving and operating. The pressure of being set apart is going to be, you're going to get scrutinized. You're going to be judged because people going to always feel like that you're acting better than them. No, it's not the fact that you're acting better than them, you realize that you are set apart for the things in the cause of Christ. And check this, watch this, watch this. Being set apart is very important because like we just read in Philippians chapter two, verse 16, holding fast to the word of life so that in the day of Christ, the men of God who came before you, they did not labor in vain. There is somebody who's depending on you. There's somebody out there that is depending on you to be who you are in Christ because you might be the only Bible that some people read. You might be the only Christ-like figure, the radiance of his Holy Spirit here on this side of eternity that somebody is going to ever experience. You are set apart, not on your for your own well-being, but for the well-being of others, just like Christ did. Amen. CashMerch.com Vintage Saint Collection Cutta and Saint Abstract Collection Shop now at CashMerch.com The greatest spitting, I tell them I'm Christ like they envision modern Christian. I tell them I'm nothing like checking conditions of how I'm living. I preach Christ, we ain't fake delivering. Listen, candy man, as soon as they know. It's not about how much Bible chapter and verse you know, it's about how much Bible you willing to obey.